Hey everybody, this is Rafi at Zurb. And in this video, we're gonna go over the foundation close button. So this is a really important component. And you know, by itself, it is a simple component that you can use to show that something is closable. So it's this X with a little bit of a hover effect. And this is used in various foundation components. So this is why it's important to, to cover it. It's actually used in a few foundation components to actually close the components um, using our toggler component. So let me show you uh, some examples of that. So the off canvas is one place where it's used and it creates this uh, X here um, that can be used to then close the off canvas. Another example is also in the reveal modal. And when we open it up, you'll see this X uh, right here that is used to close the modal. So a really common pattern. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to use that now. So let's go ahead and uh, copy this um, right out of the docs and we'll hop into our example and take a look at it. So first bit of code here, we have a callout and we're going to add it right into the callout to make the callout look like it can be closed. Now. This is just adding the style. It's not actually adding any functionality just yet. So I'm gonna show you how to do that next. And you can also attach this to a card, for example, or any container really, but um, I'm gonna show you with this card. So it's going to go inside of the uh, outer wrapper of card, and we'll just put it right there at the bottom. So it's kind of out of the way of the markup, but it's, it's there inside of the container. So what that does is it places this uh, close button uh, position absolute at the top right um, corner of the container. Now you can of course change that positioning with uh, CSS, but just so you know that is position absolute at the top right corner of the container. Um, so what that means is that your container needs to be positioned relative for it to um, actually position properly. So that's just an important note. Uh, the card or the callout or whatever uh, needs to be position relative. And a lot of these components are by default anyways, um, just like the off canvas and the modal. So now let's explain uh, just real quick what the uh, HTML and CSS look like. So we have a button tag and it's got a class of close button. So that's what's going to uh, position, that's the styles to position this in the upper right corner. So if you wanna target this with CSS, you definitely can. Uh, and then ARIA label, uh, this uh, speaks to a screen reader. So if somebody is visually impaired, they're using a screen reader to navigate the website uh, and they land on this close button using the keyboard, it's going to read out close alert, or you can change this to anything like, like dismiss alert, whatever you want it to say that is descriptive of what it's doing. Um, go ahead and, and write that in there in the ARIA label area. And that's gonna be called out by the screen reader. And then type button is also important uh, for that purpose as well. And then uh, we have a span that actually wraps the content here. So aria hidden true is an accessibility attribute that um, hides this from screen readers. So because this X is just a visual element, um, it's hidden by screen readers by default. Now it's using just a regular HTML character uh, ampersand times to create that perfect X. But if you wanna put any icon font or if you want to uh, put a different um, image in there, you definitely can just put an image straight in here. So now let's roll in some functionality to this. So you'll find a section in the docs that is called uh, making closable. So this is the section where you can actually add functionality to this uh, close button and make a container closable or dismissible. So there's a couple JavaScript attributes you'll need to do that. So first on the button, we're going to add data-close. So that's uh, mentioned here that uh, we need to add this to the trigger. So right at the end of the button, we'll add data-close. And we'll do that on our card as well. 
And what that's gonna do is tell the JavaScript that, hey, this uh, close button actually has um, the functionality to close its parent container. Now, in order for it to know what the parent container that it should close is, we need to add data-closable on that parent container. So this again is using the toggler component to do this. It's going to find that closable parent. Now, if you're using this on a modal or an off canvas, those, are, um, those already have closable uh, parent set up, so you don't need to add this attribute. This is for any generic container now. So this is great because you can make your own closable uh, components using foundation really quick. So now we have data-closable on the parent that we are closing, so that's the callout, and then data-close on the close button. So if that's set up correctly, when we hit this, it'll actually uh, close it and fade away. Now you can also pair this with our motion UI library and add some animations. Uh, so one example would be to set it up like this, where we do slide out right. And then when we actually uh, click this, now it's going to slide out to the right. So lots of really cool things that you could do with the closable button. It is a important component, even though it's a very small and simple component in foundation. It just really helps you make uh, closable containers really fast and easy. And we teach about all of these components in our Intro to Foundation class. So make sure you check that out in the link below. It's the fastest way to learn foundation. And this is Rafi from the foundation team signing off. Thanks for watching.